while at AA Lock, Deck, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Deck, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. There's a, a, a weather system coming our way off of the Gulf of Mexico. So before we get to Galen and uh, probably talk blood, probably mm-hmm. talk politics. And blood and politics go hand in hand, don't they? Right. It does. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Uh, yeah, there's a weather system. Uh, it looks like it's, I mean, we're just south of it. Gainesville it looks like they're getting some rain. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you look at the Gulf of Mexico, I'm looking at the weather, the, the weather in motion map that they have on the Weather Channel website. Mm-hmm. And and it doesn't look horrendously bad, but it looks like there's a, probably going to be a, a day of rain, even though the forecast says 20%. So, mm-hmm. anyway, some cooler temperatures apparently following that as well. And Galen, you know, this on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. And uh, I think the first thing you asked me, Galen, earlier was how late did I stay up? How late did you stay up? Uh, three. <laughs> oh, really? at about three. Oh, man. Well, I just kept waiting. I'm like, I, you know, it, yeah. this is. Uh, which is an historic election. I want to see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, before we go very much further, I was I was completely wrong. I, I know both of you guys really believe the polls were wrong and uh, that silent majority was out there, and, uh, and and you were absolutely right, and I was absolutely wrong. So uh, it's the first time the Republicans have controlled the House, the Senate, and the presidency since 1926. Mm-hmm. And and so hopefully all these things that, you, you know, we constantly talk about... Um, can actually get done. Maybe we can build a wall. Maybe we can balance the budget um, and build up our military and take care of our veterans all within this brief two-year time we have. And and I'm I'm just I'm absolutely shocked and amazed and and glad that uh, the election went the way it went. Well, just to, uh, let's see, I, I appreciate you uh, saying that we were right about something, but I don't know that we deserve anything I- in that regard, and here's why I say that, because I don't think I knew anything. I'm sure Robin will say the same thing. We didn't know anything, but we knew that we didn't know. I think that's where we were coming from when we had that discussion a week or so ago. We knew mm-hmm. what we didn't know. <laughs> we, yeah. knew, we knew that we didn't really know anything because there was nothing done yet. Until until yesterday, so. Well, and, and I think you're right, and, and but you know, typically, you know, the, 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 these polls and and the pundits and uh, they, I, they just feel so strongly, and they're so believable about their opinions and and what they believe is going to happen, and they throw out all this data at you, and uh, you know, it's hard hard to not believe it, but. I think, you know, my wife and I were talking about this last night. I, I think this is a real referendum against, you know, the direction that not our country is going, but the way our country's culture is going. And I, I think uh, I think we're all just sick and tired of people telling us how to think, telling us what we are supposed to believe, you know, what our internal moral compass is going to be. And I think that turned out, this was the largest evangelical turnout Hmm. in the in the history of the country and i i think that's a big piece that i don't think people put a lot of stock into i i think you know we're just tired of getting things crammed down our throat that we don't agree with before we took the break there was a gentleman on the phone and he said something i wanted to comment on he said don't until you've walked a mile in my shoes, don't tell me how I should live my life or what I should, should be doing. Mm-hmm. What, right. what I love about that is that that right there is what this country is about. There should be you tell them what to do. This I, I, You can't get this across enough. Mm-hmm. The one lesson that you everybody has to ed, uh, never surrender to, never surrender to that guy in that White House is going to make your life great. Mm-hmm. What you have to say is that guy in that White House has to listen to you because you are the boss. That's yeah. correct. He yeah. may have said you're fired to a lot of people in his past, mm-hmm. but you <laughs> you have the power to say you're fired to him if he doesn't do the job well. Mm-hmm. And you, ha- you have to give him a chance, and I'm, I'm confident he will try. Uh, but it would be the sa- I'd be saying the same thing if it was if it was Hillary. I'd be saying the same thing. I said the same thing when it was Obama. Yeah. I it, it was the exact same thing. You we the people is such an important three words. Because yeah. that sets the that sets the pace for the whole thing. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, well, yeah, and I think you said that really well. And, and I, it, it's, I think this country was built on individual freedom. And, and I think that's what all, it's always made us great. And what's happened is the individual freedom, what that really meant is, is you have to not only accept what somebody else's beliefs are, you have to encourage them and you have to believe in their beliefs too. And, and we could no longer, for a long time, you couldn't just disagree. You know, you and I have had, it, it, the three of us have had many good discussions and we don't always agree. But we always respected one another, and what this, where this country was going was, is, no, 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 we can't disagree on this. You have to see things my way. Uh, and, and whether that goes against your, your belief system or your morals, that's not important. What's important is my feelings. And I, that's, I think that was the wrong direction. I think that's what this whole election was about. All right, exactly. let's, uh, let's open the phone lines, and uh, I, I knew this was going to happen, and I wanted this to happen, actually, but I do have a little fun topic later on, if we can get to it. It's, uh, it's, it's the celebrity. Oh, hey, last night, by the way, last night wasn't fun enough for me, last night, I loved it. Watching all those pundits up there cry, that was fantastic. <laughs> oh, I didn't see any of that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I have, but, but I have the I have the celebrities who want to move away now that he's president. Somewhere. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> oh, that just kept growing. Yeah. Every time I looked on Twitter, there was another name added, and I love that the uh, Canadian immigration site crashed. Right, at right, 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 right. Like my son, who's who's really become a political junkie during all this. Oh no! Uh, he came running in at about seven o'clock. He said. They crashed the Canadian immigration site. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and it was amazing. He, he doesn't watch TV. He doesn't watch mainstream media. You know, he gets all his sources from places I've never heard of and websites I've never heard of. And, and he kept he kept running in. And it's like 1.30 in the morning. And he goes, oh, they haven't called it for this state yet. Oh, what are they waiting for? I got all this data. You know, and it, it's it's pretty funny. It's, so. pretty it, cool. it is similar to sports, I think, in some ways. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go to the phone. Oh, absolutely. Good, good morning. There's a, there's, a, there's a winners and a loser. Good morning. You're on the air. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Good. Uh, yeah, you know, man. You know, I was just thinking. I had called early. I was just thinking. Uh, I sit down and wonder. I ask myself all the time: Where did we go wrong as a country, as a nation, as a people? Because when I was growing up as a boy. Uh, Republicans and Democrats and liberals and, and all those they was friends, they was neighbors they was, they lived in the same neighborhood, they went to the same churches and somewhere we got off track because now, you know you can't even discuss politics because it's become divisive it's become hatred mm -hmm. towards one another, mm -hmm. family members and everything man it's like, you know, and I'm trying to figure out where did we went wrong. And, like, um, we, like I say earlier, if we don't come together as a people, it doesn't matter what race, color, creed, yeah. that we're still going to be in trouble. Because if you can't wake up this morning and speak to me as a Democrat, and if I can't wake up this morning and speak to you as a Republican, we still got problems, and um, we look to the presidency to fix everything in this country. First, we got to look inside of ourselves. We got to begin with us, and then we can move forward. Because, like, if you depended on somebody else to do something for you, man, that's it, it. would never be done. That's all. That's, and like I said, that's it. Yes, that's beautiful. That's what we have always said. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and, 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 I'll, and I'll tell you this. The, the, Thank you. Appreciate the know that This division doesn't come from, from you know, you and I. When we're on a one-on-one, -on -one, it doesn't. No it division. doesn't even exist in my life. The, uh, there is no division. It really I, doesn't. I have family. Oh. I have friends who are every, whatever political uh, thing they might. My, my brother Bill is probably a Democrat. I'm guessing. My brother Tom, I'm sure, is a strong Republican. Mm -hmm. I don't know my brother Bob. I don't know what he is. And but, uh, but come on, we get along in this studio. The one thing I love about doing this show is that we got to speak during this election cycle and in any 
any previous election cycle to different candidates. Mm -hmm. I don't mind telling you that I voted for Dennis McFadden. I don't mind telling you that. I, and I did too. And I thought I, I think I like too. Billy Wood. I think he's a good man. Yeah, I think we have a great mm -hmm. sheriff. So, and so, and uh, I, I really do. And I, and I don't mind telling you that I voted for some no party affiliation people as well. I didn't vote R across sure. the board. I voted. I I thought about each one carefully, and that's it. That's all I did. And and I don't and I don't have any I don't harbor any resentment to anybody who has a D or who votes p party line or, or or who's you know a strong proponent. One of one of the things that that I have re resisted, not resented, but resisted. I almost said resented, but resisted was pressure from because I am registered as a Republican, mm -hmm. and s and I sort of kind of lean that way in many things, but not in everything. So the Republican, the strong extremists, never wanted me to be nice when I first started doing this. They were always, yeah. always trying to pressure me to not even have people like Mike Sizemore in. Mike yeah. Sizemore was a great guy. Yeah, he was the head of the Democratic Party back in those days, That's and right. I don't know and if he still is or not. But yeah. and, and it, it's just one of those things where, come on, this is never going to be me. I'm never going to be that person. Mm -hmm. And I want you to be whoever you are too. And, and like the gentleman yeah. just said, can't we uh, just live like we used to live where, you know, you say, you know, this whole country is we, the yes. people. We the big the people. word, the big first word, we. It's not mm -hmm. I, everybody who thinks like me. It's we and everybody who thinks differently than me. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. Absolutely agree. Yeah. The, the, the only thing that divides us is, is really just going up and talking to people uh, and you know all, all these labels that we try to put on people i think uh it's a little ridiculous it is absolutely so. ridiculous and and this is where trump was wrong by the way and this is one of the issues i had with him was you can't say i'm not letting any muslims in that is crazy that is, yeah, that, is. that is crazy. It is. You, you have to. So he has to. He has some learning to do. You know, yeah. <laughs> as as Jethro Bodine would have said. You know, when you when you look at the data, the the percentage of Latino votes that he had was higher than Romney's, and, and you know his, the the number of African Americans that voted for him was higher than Romney, and and I think that's part of the things that's a real shocker. But it also tells you. Yeah, but I think they got all it. these all these labels, right? All these labels we put on people. People just want to. They want opportunity. They want the same thing that their neighbor wants, no matter their color. They want to raise their child in a safe environment, and they want to be protected because that's all the federal government is supposed to do is to protect their borders. And I think they got really sick of this, you know, big, you know, big government. Uh, we, you know, we're going to have an open border and all this trade. And I think people said, you know what? I'm, no, let's take care of America first. Right. And I, I kept going back and forth to all the networks. And there were a few networks that re kept really going to, you know, there was a couple of people on each one of these stations that go, well, you know, I w it's, I, I'm really curious to see how the world's going to view this. And I don't care what the world thinks about us. I don't. And we, I mean, there's a time where it matters. But when we're electing our president, I don't care if the president of France or the prime minister of France is ashamed of America today. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. He's French. Yeah, you know yeah. how many times we bailed them out? They bailed us out once. They helped us form this country. They gave us a statue. We're very thankful. Now go away and let us run our business. <laughs> All right, let me let me take another phone call. Good morning. I think I hit the button, didn't I? Good morning, you're on the air. I think. Yeah. Good morning, guys. Yeah. Mike McCoy. Hey, Mike. Hey, I, for the record, okay. I just want to be sure that this is on the record. At exactly two forty-one this morning, I did something that all of the polls. I beat all the polls for CNN. Every poll at exactly two forty-one this morning, I predicted accurately that. Trump would win. Right, right. after I'm Hillary right. Clinton called him and conceded. And well so I was right well on the money there, boy. <laughs> Unbelievable. All these polls, all these polls that came out. Yeah, yeah. And, and, okay. and so the next election, I will not turn my TV on or listen to any <laughs> polls during the election. Uh, I just wait. And, you know, all of these polls, they're just guesses based on some kind of algorithm that they've somebody has developed. 
and they don't mean anything. It was proven last night. The polls don't mean anything. That's right. And if you think your count, look how these some of these states, 10 or 15 volts, some of them were, were within, right? I mean, they were just mm-hmm. unbelievable how close they were. Unbelievable. Yeah. In my life, 62 years, I've never seen such a... Just unbelievable. It was unbelievable. I couldn't stop. I fell asleep watching it. And exactly 2.40, I woke up for some reason. I woke up, clicked on the TV, and they were announcing that, that Clinton had called. And I was, it was like amazing. So um, let's just hope, you know, now we've, he's, he's wrote a check. Let's see if they can cash it. Yeah, yeah. that's the way to say I love right. that. Yes. That's great. That's very good. I love that. Thank you. We have, to hold, him, we, we have to hold him accountable, his, his electorate. Right, we absolutely. We have to hold him accountable to this. Absolutely. And, and I will tell you this. I, I know Mike pretty well. There's no way that Mike is not going to watch polls in four years. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, there's no way you're going to stay away from polls in four years. <laughs> bet that. So, but, but, you know, for, again, because the Republicans have the House, in the Senate, in the presidency, all the all those you know executives should be peeled back on day one, um, and, and you know then we can really look at the Affordable Health Care Act. I don't think anybody thinks that, that the whole thing should be ripped apart because there no. are pieces that are smart, but there are also major major problems with it. But we also need to balance the budget. We need to talk about the deficit. You know we we. Newt Gingrich may or may not be the Secretary of State. I don't know what he's going to do. But let's go back and let's balance the budget. Let's balance the budget. That's what I want to see. That, that's my number one thing. Build the wall, number two, and, and let's go from there. I, I disagree with the wall thing, but I, I know I'm alone on that one. Hey, by the, way, by the way, if you ever want to have a really good example of why you should not believe the polls, I had to look it up so mm-hmm. I, could, I could read it to you uh, verbatim. This was in, the 19, in 1946. Uh, th- this statement was made: More doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know. They probably did. Yeah, they probably did. And and the point is, who paid for that study? Uh, That's fair enough. Who paid for fair that enough. study? It was R. J. Reynolds who paid for that study. Exactly. So sure. when you, so sure. when you see these studies that that claim they have algorithms that prove mm-hmm. so and so is going to win don't forget somebody has a vested interest that's right in whatever those yeah, polls say you know they, these people they get paid to be accurate typically but but i think you're right i think uh and and the wikileaks really showed this uh wikileaks you know was the probably in my opinion the biggest factor on this election because it really shined a light on just I think everybody who didn't like Clinton knew that she was corrupt, but I think WikiLeaks showed you just how right. corrupt that whole campaign really was. All right, let me let me yeah. uh, let's just do our business here with the blood uh, with Life South, sure. and then and then on the other side, just if you don't mind, just lightening up a little bit the, the celebrities who are going to move away now that the Trump is elected. <laughs> okay, right. all right, them out, them right. out, them out. <laughs> no, I want some of them to say I like some of them. So. <laughs> All right, uh, so Amy Schumer, get out. No, I like no. Amy Schumer. Uh, no, why do you want to oh, kick her out? I hate her. You hate I Amy hate Schumer? <laughs> why? I hate Amy Schumer. Isn't that funny? I hate everything that she represents. Okay. Fat shaming. Uh, I hate it all. Fat I hate shaming? She, represents. she doesn't fat shame. She, fat, is, just, she is heavy. Yeah, she talks about, oh, yeah. Yeah, but then... then all right, right, right. Like, I, I, I hate the blood everything supp- she's about. How's the blood supply? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have just over a seven-day blood supply, and uh, yesterday was a really good day at our, our at our headquarters building. Just because of the election, there were a lot of people coming in and voting. Um, their turnout was a lot lower uh, than expected. You know, it's a democratic a democrat place and uh, stronghold really in Florida, and the turnout was really low. Um, but again, we had a great day in the donor center, and uh, we just need people to continue to get out there and give the good life. Uh, Thanksgiving is what two weeks away. And uh, we just need people to, we just need to start storing that up. So please give the gift of life and donate blood. By the way, 76% of Marion County voters showed up. 
That's pretty oh, good. Yeah. Congratulations. That's pretty good. That's that pretty was, good. That was very God. good. All right. Very good. Uh, very good. Please thank Palm Garden of Ocala Health and Rehabilitation Center for sponsoring this. Uh, um, Jan Marino came in yesterday and did a really cool ad for Thanksgiving. Yeah, so she's great. it'll play in just a moment. Really sweet ad. Thank you, Jan. Uh, and Pan Flooring, thank them also. I'll just keep my little live announcement brief because I want to do this and get on to the other side. So we'll take a little break. Be right back uh, with Galen Unold. Hi, my name is Erica Olstein. I'm a doctor of acupuncture and oriental medicine. Do you have a gout-ridden toe or bowels that move too slow? Creaky knees or how about an asthmatic wheeze? Then acupuncture is sure to please. Come visit me, your primary care physician, Erica Olstein, at A Better You Healthcare. Call me at 352-615-5566. That's 352-615-5566. Hey, this is Matt Wilkerson with Verizon. Do you have teenage drivers or elderly parents that drive? I have what you need. It's the new Hum device by Verizon. Plugs directly into your car and sends alerts to your cell phone on the location, speed, and driving habits. And you set boundary alerts. You can call and speak live with an ASC certified mechanic. And if you have an accident and can't respond, Hum will automatically send for help. All this and more for just $10 a month. And if you're in Marion County, I'll even deliver and set it up for free. Call me, 352-528-0020. This is Jan Marino from Palm Garden of Ocala. At Thanksgiving, more than ever, our thoughts turn gratefully to those who have made our progress possible. And in this spirit, we say from Jennifer McCullough, the executive director, and the rest of our staff, simply but sincerely, thank you and best wishes for a happy Thanksgiving. There's that sweet ad that Jan did yesterday. We're 26 minutes after 8 o'clock, Aileen Newell's on the phone from Life South. Remember, uh, regardless of what you did yesterday or any voting day, uh, we are all in the same boat when it comes to needing blood. The only way we get blood is by us mm-hmm. going to the blood centers and donating our blood. So mm-hmm. if you have a chance, it's once every eight weeks. It's not a big commitment and uh, it takes about a half hour and you get to relax. And right. talk to some really nice All right, people. so I've just as a fun little side note here with two and a half minutes left, uh, here are the 16 celebrities who will leave the U.S. if Trump wins. Barbara mm-hmm. Streisand. Ah, God, get her out. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I like her, too, actually. Uh, Brian Cranston. Who's that? I don't know. Get him out. He was funny 20 years ago. Miley Cyrus. Oh, there you go. Yeah, she can go. Yeah, I don't even know if she's a woman anymore. She's some other I kind like of her. sex. Oh, so. man, you're too mean. I like her. Out. You, haven't, you haven't seen her. She was sweet yes, 10 I years have. ago. No, no, I've seen her. She's sweet. Lately? Yes. Yeah, she's crazy. No, 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 she's sweet. Amy Schumer. I love Amy Schumer. Out. Get her out. John, oh, I can't stand her. John Stewart. He can you know they cancel their Bud Light commercials because <laughs> the, their, their beer consumption went down. Because she was on the commercial. John, oh John Stewart. John Stewart. <laughs> I hate him. Get him out. Cher. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I kind of like Cher. There you go. Uh, she does great stuff for the cranial Chelsea Handler. Do you like Chelsea Handler? No, I can't stand her. Really? Oh, I can't I stand her. I love Chelsea okay, Handler. Yeah. God, Who I, is she? I, she's a comedian talk show host. The, oh. e, yeah, she's on E or Samuel something. L, I don't really know her that well. Samuel L. Jackson. No. Samuel L. Jackson's going to stay. Yeah, he's keep fine. Him. Yeah, I like him too. Yeah, he's Whoop- great. I like almost all these people. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. No, I Gone. like her. Get her out. No. I you like her in Ghost. No, she hasn't I been love- good since Ghost. I still like her. <laughs> Come on. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> nope. Get her out. <laughs> Reverend Al Sharpton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's funny. He's, he's so, funny. He's, he's so yeah. this, this, uh, he's, he can stay just because he's... He's comic relief to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Nev Campbell. Nev Campbell. Oh, she's beautiful. She's hot. Yeah, yeah she could stay. Trump <laughs> <laughs> likes beautiful people, so she'll be fine oh, in the, no. during this, uh, oh, no. uh, uh, this president. Let's see. Raven Simone. Who's Raven Simone? Do you know that person? Uh, she, she's on The View. Um, she was a TV star when she was a kid. Yeah. She was on the Cosby, fa- Cosby show. She I was the no youngest sport, daughter. But, on the Cosby right. show. So she, she, can, was the she can get out. Oh, okay. Let's just go ahead and get her out. Get her out. Nah, she probably had her her share of grief with Bill Cosby, so let her stay. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was like eight. I think she was like eight on that show. Let's hope not. Yeah, let's hope yeah. not. That's right. All right. Uh, all right. So before we say goodbye, how, uh, where is the Bloodmobile today? 
What mobile today, Larry, is actually at Home Run Realty. Um, they're big supporters of the Blood Center and uh, of this community as a whole. So go out there and see Mr. Savino out there. Okay. Hello, Mr. Sabino. All right. Yeah. Thank you for what you do, Galen. Yeah. And I uh, always love this segment in the morning. And I was looking forward to hearing your, your thoughts on the election yesterday. So thank you for uh, uh, not holding back. It's a new world, Larry. An- anything it's local you want to say? we got 20, 30 seconds. Anything local? Uh, local? Congratulations to Billy. And, uh, you know, good luck. And, and we need a good man in that office. And I think we got one. And, and he's got some work to do to turn around the you know how everybody feels about the Marion County Sheriff's Office I think he's a man for the job so all right. good luck all right uh, thank you Galen have a great day be careful there's, there's rain right, you guys are the best there's rain coming your way up in Gainesville all right thank you yeah. we'll right. take a break we'll be, we'll be right back This is a Fox News alert. I'm Lillian Wu. America will no longer settle for anything less 